18. What was the answer? Vertices, how many vertices in a square prism? Eight. How many edges? Twelve. Twelve. And faces? Six. Six. And when you apply Euler's, that would be eight minus 12 plus six, and that equals two, and then you just put a check mark. It checks, so that is right. Okay, so it says, Find the number of vertices, edges, faces, and then use uh, the Euler's formula. So what you can do is draw the, whatever the name is given, draw it so you can visualize it, and then from there you can get the information. Uh, for number 14, what was the answer is vertices, seven edges, 12 faces, seven. And here you're going to have seven minus 12 plus 7, that equals 2, and that is correct. It makes sense. So it is a, a polyhedron. For 15, how many vertices? Six. Vertices? Four. Uh, it's 4, right? Because it's 4 on the bottom and 1 on top, so that makes 3 in the bottom and 1 on top is 4. And edges? 6. Faces? 4. four three on the lateral sides and then the bottom base. And on Euler's, when you apply the Euler's, would be four minus six plus four, and that equals two, so it checks. Now let's review diagonals. It says the length of the rectangular prism with the width, so it's two, the height is 18, and the 21 inch diagonal. This was like the homework, the second problem, the one in the middle. Right. They give you the diagonal. What's the formula, first of all, for? The high square. So what we're given is the diagonal, and then we're given two of these pieces. Okay? So we need to put the diagonal on the left side. So diagonal is 21 equals the square root of and they're giving the width and the height. So what are we missing? The length. So it's going to be L square plus 2 square plus 18 square. And then you simplify that. 328 when you add them up. 324 and 4 is 328. That's right. And then we get the square root, right? Get rid of the square root. How do we do that? We square both sides. So 21 square, that's 400 and, thank you, Amy. 441, that equals to L square plus 328. Next, what's the next step? Subtract, subtract 328 from 441. That would be 3, 1, 113. And 113 represents L square. What else? We get the square root of that, so we're going to get an approximate answer. So the length is approximately, must be like, uh, that's okay, 10.63. 10.6 to the tenth place, that's right. So it's 10.6, and this is inches. So 16 is 10.6 inches. That's right. Yes, to get rid of the square root. Now for number 17, it says, A bird flies from its nest to a point that is 6 feet north, 3 feet west, and 6 feet higher. In the tree, then the nest. In the tree, then the nest. How far is the bird from the nest? So we have, we have to kind of like uh, come up with a drawing. And when you do the drawing, at the end you're going to come up with the, the way the bird is coming and going. It's a diagonal. Okay, so let's figure out the picture first. When you do the drawing, it would be, uh, there's a point. Then it's six, seven.
and then the height would be this. So you can say that one of the dimensions is this is six, this is seven, and then it's going six up like that. I drew a little bird and then the nest was on top of the bird and then I just put six. I put seven and then six. So what we need to know is uh, basically the, the diagonal, right? Because it's going from one point, which is the nest, and this is a point. And then oh, this is a that is, we have to use the diagonal formula, which is diagonal is the square root of the length. So the length would be... Diagonal formula, yes. But you just put all those numbers in the square root, inside the square root, and then just put that in the calculator. So the distance that bird is traveling, let's put that in the calculator. Then the distance when you put in the in the calculator is exactly equals to 11, and this is 11 feet. So number 17, it's 11 feet. Great. Okay. Now number 18, 19, and 20, you have to find the distance and the midpoint. So for distance, we can use a formula for the distance. And it's three, it's a three axis that we're working with. Mm -hmm. So for the distance. Wouldn't it be x2 minus x1 squared plus? Right. I need to label my points x1, y1, z1. Right. And then it's going to be x2, y2, and z2. So when you put it in the formula, that would be x sub 2, which is 4, minus x sub 1, zero. 0, plus y sub 2 is 6, minus y sub 1, zero. 0, and then z sub 2, which is 12, minus 0, and then you just put that on the calculator, and that would be the When you run it off, is that 14? 14 oh, at, the very end. <laughs> at the very end, right? Because you run it to the nearest 10th. The, the square root of 196, that's right, which is 14. Yes, so the distance is 14. <clears throat> now, for the midpoint, it would be midpoint, you add the x's, so 0 plus 4 divided by 2, add the y's. 0 plus 6 divided by 2, and then add the z, so it's 0 plus 12 divided by 2. So half of 4 is 2, of 6 is 3, and of 12 is 6. So those are the midpoints. Any questions on that? No? Okay, so then the answers for number 19 are supposed to be 11. Did you get 11? Yes. And the midpoint is 4 negative 2 and 2.5 great and the distance for number 20 what did you get for number 20 isn't it 10.3 10.3 is the is the answer do you want me to go over that one yeah. yes okay so for number 20 the distance is so you label it this is x1 y1 z1 x2, y2, and z2. So um, x sub 2 would be 7 minus 3 quantity square. Then it's 2 minus 5 quantity square. And then it's 0 minus 9 quantity square. So let's put that in the calculator. The midpoint. What are the coordinates of the midpoint? 5. 3.5? 5. And 4.5? Got it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And that was number 20. Okay, so that is 12, 1, and 8, 2. So it's be exactly like this. Yes, it was just like that. I'm going to give you the formulas for this. Um, and something else is, since the quiz is not going to take that long, I'm thinking about whoever wants to take the retesting class tomorrow, you can take the retest. Okay? Uh, so if you don't want to come after school, either in the morning or after school, and take that next week or today after school, just make sure that, uh, you know, you can come tomorrow during class. You can take that test, you know, you can do that. Okay.